recently I saw a video on YouTube about finding the length of the curve uh, so I thought why not to model it on uh, MATLAB so it involves simple uh, integration uh, procedure to find the length of the curve uh, this function was not available in MATLAB so I programmed it myself and the reference point was Wolfram Alpha to check the answer whether they are right or wrong. My name is Osman Arshid and I'm just about to demonstrate to you how the curve length function is used. So first of all, just type this and go for help. So as you can see, this is a small description it is showing that this function is used to find the length of the curve. And here is my syntax. I have to put a function, my initial limits and final limits from where to where I found want to find the length of my curve. So here's the function and uh, I'm just about to same same enter it and uh, I'm gonna match it with the Wolfram alpha. So you see that whether you get right answer or wrong. As you can see my answer is length of the curve is 42 uh, units and uh, here's my graph is starting from just 2 to 5 as you can see over here. Let me zoom it further. Same thing can be observed in full frame alpha when it is asked to find the length of the curve of this function from 2 to 5. Uh, same thing was observed over here and the answer was also the same. Starting from going to the 5. And the answer was also 42. As you can see. Okay. Let's ask you to find the the length of the curve like this with sine x from 0 to pi and my length of the curve is 3.8 to up to 6 decimal points and uh, my figure is as you can see here is my sine function and it's starting from 0 and 3 and here is my length of the curve Let's just uh, verify it using full frame alpha. So we'll have the curve sine x from 2 to 5. I will change it from, um, I would say, 0 to pi. So as you can see, my answer is 3.8202. Uh, uh, 3.8202, OK. And here's my figure. And uh, let's make the figure. It's just saying the positive value not the negative one starting from also from zero so let me just go over here as you can see just starting from zero and going to the pi of three so the main issue was while modeling this length of the curve function in MATLAB that uh, sometimes MATLAB was unable to find the integration of the function so double command was used before integration to do it numerically and find that approximate answer as you can see the answer approximate not just exact over here uh, the code of this function will be available soon and hope you're gonna enjoy this by playing with it uh, any type of function can be given to it and it will just uh, demonstrate you its uh, length and as well as its definite value in numerical form and in graphical forms please post some comments if you like it thank you